you today we're going to be installing this voltage regulator on my Coleman mini bike. As I'm sure you all know by now I'm running lights on my mini bike. We got two LEDs up front, we got one underglow right there, and then we have two tail lights in the back. And we're also running an electric start, so we need our charging system to produce enough power to keep our battery charged to power our accessories. Alright, what I got here is a multimeter. Uh, cheap $4 one from Harbor Freight, but it works good for the purposes that I need it for. So at idle we have 8.89 volts DC coming from it at idle without the regulator. And then with it we get 14.87 volts DC at idle with the regulator and the voltage did not change with the regulator when the engine was revved unlike um, without the regulator the power output did fluctuate up and down so what this regulator is going to do is going to keep our charging coil output that's going to the battery at a constant 14 volts and that's going to charge your battery and hopefully it's going to fix my charging issue this is a three wire regulator. The black one we got is ground, the yellow one is a hot in, and the red one is a hot out. And then you can see there's two places where you can mount this regulator. Um, I, I meant two holes to mount it down, my bad. So now I need to find a place where I want to mount the regulator on. Okay everybody, I took off my seat, and what I'm going to do is, you can see two bolt on um, two Sharpie marks right here, one here and here, that's where the bolt hole is going to be. So the regulator is going to be put right here, and I also put two holes on this side, and I'm going to drill through it and then I'm going to mount it down. Okay, we got our voltage regulator wired up right here. Um, I left out all the work involved in doing it because there was a lot of confusion and wiring issues along the way, but I got it done now. So anyways, we got three wires plugged. We're so gonna come down here, right here, one of the wires, ground for the regulators right there. And right here, our wiring is going to travel on the frame. Uh, coming toward the front main bike. And down. And we got two wires. The green wire there's the charging coil in for the hot end. And the red one is uh, the hot out. And then the hot out. Um, the regulator is going to come with a solenoid right here, and from there it's going to travel through these battery cables and then charge the battery. I was kind of having problems along the way. When I had the charging coil wire directly to the solenoid, the electric start would work. When I put the voltage regulator in between the solenoid and the charging coil, the electric start didn't work, but the voltage regulator is making a good 14.5 volts. So what I did, I tapped into the key box, took a wire from the back of the ignition switch, and I ran it to the hot solenoid, and then when the key's on the start position, um, it cranks over and starts up just fine now. So the, this is going to be a good addition to the bike, because it's at idling and only producing 8 volts, it's going to produce 14 and a half everywhere, and it's going to hopefully charge my battery better. So you need more power out of your charging system and the power is just not consistent or there's just no regulator altogether I highly recommend getting one. Alright guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.